Well, I hope everyone is having a, a great evening. Um, unfortunately, there's no uh, there's no content until my boxes get here, my shipments, for some unboxing videos. So until that happens, I'm sort of dead in the water with the channel because I don't have anything else planned. But uh, they should be here in the next few days. And in the meantime, what I thought I'd do this evening, since this is an electric football channel and since it has been months since I've really produced any electric football content, I'd like to share with folks uh, some of my favorite electric football channels you may or may not be aware of on YouTube uh, if you're hungry for some electric football content that I cannot provide at this time. Um, these are my go-to channels for reference and for entertainment purposes in some cases. Um, so let's just have a look. We're going to start with Play EF. Um, this is the uh, curator of the website playef.com as far as I know. Hasn't been active in about a year, but uh, the content on this particular channel um, is very, very good for beginning players, in my opinion. And uh, he has a much better camera than I do, much st I, much steadier from the get-go. Remember, my early videos on this channel, I was just holding the camera the way I am now, and so there was a lot of jiggle and, and, and jitter. Uh, but uh, he goes through everything, the bases, the customizing, uh, even talks about the... Uh, uh, different kinds of game boards. I think this is a great starting point for any new electric football coach. Now here we have Brian Nutt's channel. He is of course the uh, uh, curator of bnut.com. He uh, produces the uh, Pac-12 figures, the bnut figures, and also custom decals and face masks. And he also has his own multi-stop rule system, uh, which uh, my EFHL rule set is in largely, and it's largely based upon uh, the BNUT uh, uh, multi-stop system. I think BNUT has more stops than I do, um, but it was inspirational uh, for my own rule set, particularly the defensive stoppage to allow the defensive to react at a certain point during the play. But he also records full games, uh, usually divided in first and second half. Not always, sometimes the entire half. Uh, the entire game is in one video. You see they run anywhere from 30 to 45 to minutes. Uh, the Nevada V Air Force game is a little longer. Uh, he has a lot of different teams. Uh, he plays with college teams. And uh, if you're into NCAA, this is a very, very entertaining channel. Uh, one thing he does that I really dig is that he uh, he runs the, the marching band music in the background. And it, the marching band music is correct for each band. He took the trouble to find recordings of the bands on the field uh, when they have possession of the ball, and I, uh, you know, much respect for that. But this is one of my favorite channels. That's Brian Nutt. Uh, let's see. We're going to skip around here a little bit. Now we're going to the Fat 8 Conference. Love this channel. Um, and he's, uh, he's about to reboot his channel with uh, an updated uh, rule book. These, uh, you know, he, this is another gameplay channel in which he uh, plays full games with a, a very high degree of production quality. He's got the overlay with the weather conditions. Uh, he's got the uh, running scoreboard on it. Uh, he, and he has a, a lot of cool equipment that he plays with. He also uses uh, collegiate teams, and not always uh, Division One. He has a lot of uh, Division Two and Three NCAA teams on his game board as well. And uh, his, uh, his, uh, the Fat Eight rule set, again... Uh, deeply inspired the EFHL rule set, especially some of the more uh, role-playing aspects as far as um, different stats for the players and, and coaches and so on and so forth. Uh, love this channel. It's a great... Uh, it's, it's, it's entertaining. It's just fun to watch his game. Not all electric football gameplay videos are, are fun to watch. Uh, frankly, a lot of electric football gameplay videos are boring, including some of mine. Uh, if not all of mine, but uh, Jamie makes it very, very entertaining, as does, as does uh, Brian Nutt with their uh, color commentary during and before, during, and after the plays. So I, I really like these channels. Let's see. Here's Brandon Sigers, and uh, Brandon uh, is a painter, an excellent painter. You've seen my Peyton Manning uh, next level passing quarterback that Brandon customized. He also gives advice on. Uh, offensive and defensive strategy that's very, very good. Uh, very sound advice, in my opinion. He also gives, uh, he, he does product tutorial uh, uh, demos and reviews. Very helpful for new players. This is another good channel to check out if you're just starting out in 
electric football and he has a lot of content on this channel and he's 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 semi regular with updates he hasn't updated anything to the channel in a while but he's still active in the electric football community as is uh, fat eight conference as is brian nutt now let's see uh, again we're just going to uh uh el toro 49 uh, hasn't updated any new content in quite a while but he is still active in electric football in fact el toro was the gentleman who produced the uh, water slide decals for my collection of uh, uh, NFL teams in the EFHL. He offers a combination of gameplay videos and uh, tutorials, particularly on how to build your own electric football game board if you possess the tools and the skills to be able to do so. Also, tutorials on how to make your own field covers, if you, again, you have the equipment for that and the materials, and also how to make your own water slide decals if you have uh, a printer with a high enough DPI to make them look uh, photorealistic. And indeed, uh, the proper printer paper, the proper decal paper uh, uh, to pull that off. Another great channel. Now, if you're uh, looking for competitive electric football gameplay videos, um, you want the Gridiron Buzz Network. Um, this isn't the only channel with this sort of content, but uh, these gentlemen do travel across the country at all the major electric football tournaments and put on a very professional um, broadcast with play-by-play -play and color commentary between the plays, which, as you know, in electric football, there's a lot of downtime between the plays. Uh, these two gentlemen uh, fill that void, fill that downtime quite well. And now finally, we'll move on to uh, Reginald Rutledge. He actually has several different uh, YouTube channels that I've uh, managed to find on here. Uh, Reg also is the uh, the uh, curator for footballfigure.net. And he's also he also builds uh, uh, stadiums at various scales, including electric football sized stadiums. He also builds game boards, and of course his his, his figures well-regarded throughout the electric football hobby. Um, I found Reg, in fact, I rediscovered electric football through Reg when uh, I saw some of his uh, videos for his marching band figurines. And he puts a lot of work into his uh, videos, just a high degree of production value. And he has multiple uh, channels. Another one I think here is... MESN Sports. This is an older, well, actually, last last updated nine months ago. Uh, yeah, there's some of his larger figures he, and some uh, some of his painting uh, tutorials as well. And he has at, at least one more channel. I just can't remember which one of these it might be at, at the moment. Um, but those are just a few of the uh, channels you can find on um, on YouTube, other than this one with electric football content, that uh, in my opinion is a, is a very high uh, quality and very helpful for new players. And of course, for the latest uh, in electric football bases, ITZ bases, uh, they showcase the uh, the motor, which I'm told is back in production, a smaller motor that uh, perhaps isn't getting damaged as much during shipping. I don't think there's ever going to be an ITZ game board though. I think that's off the uh, that's off the menu at this point, but uh, there you go, folks. So just some different uh, electric football channels that exist on YouTube. You may have already found these. Uh, you can typically, if you do a search for electric football on the YouTube search window, uh, a lot of these channels will just pop up. But if you weren't aware of them, I just wanted to to make folks aware of them. Um, it's really the least I can do since I'm not playing electric football right now. And, you know, I was actually. Um, going through my entire figure collection today, consolidating it, trying to uh, reorganize things so that uh, I can open up one of my storage containers for use with the uh, Action Force figures for the fists and the and the, the accessories and the weapons and so on when that comes. So now I've got two open containers. But I did rearrange all the electric football figures, and I wistfully uh, kind of sighed to myself and said, man, I wish I had time to, to, to get the board out to see if I could get it working any better. Of course, that wears off quickly. After an hour of, of messing with one of those electric football game boards, you know, I'm I'm ready to, to punt it uh, straight out the door. But I do miss playing it, and I'm, I don't know when I'm going to have time to play again. Uh, but just be, be advised, this is still an electric football channel, and hopefully someday I can get back into that. 
in the time being, check out these other channels. You might find something there you enjoy. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching, folks. I'll talk to you again real soon. Stay tuned for a, a slew of unboxing videos. See you then.